um hello 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 good morning good morning amazing people uh this is your friend Yosejo. this is day one of the youth for climate biking solutions event um i'm here right now in rome italy i'm from my hotel room in the uh, occidental park uh, hotel and right now i just finished preparing myself i finished bathing i finished doing almost everything that's really important for me to get ready i'm pitching today i'm the eighth person in the line to pitch um, and i'm pitching before the break time so that means that i have to wake up early and prepare myself you know so far so good i don't have any pressure i'm excited i've tried to do the best that i can so today is that day that we've been waiting for in the past months to see if our project the futuristic energy efficiency rating system will make it into the winning um, project or winning solutions for climate change. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, I'm in Rome, Italy, all funded by the United Nations Development Program, UNDP Rome, in partnership with the Ministry of Energy Security here in Italy and also the United Nations. So that's pretty much it. I'm excited. I'll keep on taking you through each and every journey of this um, entire event you know so thank you so much for your attention let's let's do it. seventh floor right yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm here with my sister um, we are going for breakfast mm -hmm. uh, this is day one of the y4c event so we're excited and we're looking forward to this <laughs> No, let's take that one. <laughs> in a hotel and the lifts are full. It's busy. Like uh, trees, plants, like all of that, this just looks beautiful to me. The architecture is really elaborate. I know, for me, I have a lot, a lot of rain. The transparent is and then the monsoon, the monsoon wind. So what do you do back in Pakistan? So it comes from the bay. Yeah, so the bay of Banga, right? So it comes, it flies up, and then it goes to the intercoastal and region with the water cycle. It hits the mountain, turns into rain, and every year that whole cycle goes. Now that if the mountains are in a way temperature is rising, that cycle is going to get disrupted and do a few months. How are they? Uh, few weeks? That would disrupt the whole lifestyle over there. So <laughs> we're trying. Uh, oh, because I mean that, that in Gulf countries, on the energy transition is... To a
We have arrived. Okay. 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 How do you feel? Oh, great. The view is so beautiful. Which place? Where are we going? Just a rainbow when I saw it. Which way is the Vatican? Yeah. Sure. Let's go. Let's go. This ah, way. How are you there? Are they fine? How are they fine? <laughs> yeah, this, this way. <laughs> oh, you this, this, she's more Nigerian than African. There's a lot of light there. There is a lot of light. Nice pictures will be from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, yeah. <laughs> How are you there now? You did fine though. You did fine though. You be far from Nigeria. Well, yeah, we don't come far from Nigeria. Like. Okay. Why you, you like Nigeria like this? Yes, actually, I, I, I just, I just love Africans. That's why when I meet a Tanzanian, I'm speaking Swahili with her, you know. So I just love. I will, I will put you inside my bag and take you to Nigeria. Yeah. 
We'll be on time. Don't worry. We're still on time. We'll be on time for our meeting. We will wait for us. We are. Which category are you in? What's that? Which category are you in? Food and agriculture. Oh, I mean energy. Why is it? Energy. Energy. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> How are you? What's your name? Maha. Maha. We met last night, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're from Pakistan. Pakistan. Wow. Give me a problem. <laughs> no. Will you, don't you want to speak some Botswana? I'm, I'm celebrating you, man. <laughs> you wanna learn Botswana? How do you say? How do you say good morning? Botswana? Say Dumela. Dumela. Dumela Botswana. Dumela Botswana. Yes. That is to say good morning Botswana. Hello. Oh. So we are going to the World Cafe session and it has a theme of challenges and opportunities for youth-led climate initiatives and the importance of collaboration and partnerships whereby we will be divided, we will be split into four groups of which it will be a casual discussion. And the main aim of this World Cafe session uh, is to facilitate an open dialogue in a casual format among youth participants. And basically what we want to do is to discuss uh, the, the relevant um, topics related to partnerships, support for youth-led initiatives, transition to green economy and the necessary green skills. Uh, to learn from each other and to come up with key group messages. And the key group messages, our main aim is to see how we can also showcase them during COP28. Um, according to the report that was provided last year, it shows that during COP27, it was only 36% of the party delegates were young people, youth, basically under 35 years. And it was only 23% of head of delegations are young people. The numbers are so low and they are not sufficient. So we are having this kind of candid discussion among us to identify gaps, to know what are the challenges, to know what are the opportunities, to share experience and learn from one another. So we will be split into four groups to have a discussion where we have our vibrant moderators who will be rotating in the groups just to share experience and share knowledge and also get that time to exchange the ideas. It will be a casual dialogue specifically and tailored for young people. This is the youth discussion. We are young people who want to discuss our things and of course we will compile them and see how we can, we can present later. Without further ado, before splitting, I would like to welcome uh, my partner and colleague. He has some words of wisdom to say and food of thoughts before going to the panel. Mr. Bench, the floor is yours. Thank you, 
It has been a century since the modern electricity era that we still have 6 million Africans lacking electricity today. I was really fascinated to learn that we can use plastic to produce a clean, we can use plastic to create electricity by the pyrolysis method. However, we figured that the energy required for the process was far greater than the energy produced. So my team and I did a research and integrated luminous technologies to reverse this problem. So we have integrated the uh, thermocracking, gasification and filtration method to convert the plastics into a clean fuel, which is then converted to electricity using uh, our machine. And then we thought, why not kill two birds with one stone? So we integrated another technology, with, which is atomization and catalytic conversion to also produce clean cooking gas from the, from the fuel. So uh, with our solution, we reduce greenhouse gas emissions by conserving our major carbon sinks. And for every one ton of uh, plastic we recycle, 4.4 tons of carbon dioxide gas emissions are saved. We save women time uh, to engage in other activities instead of uh, searching for firewood and lighting, kind, and lighting uh, charcoals. And also we create job opportunities and reduce uh, premature death due to the use of charcoal and firewood. So uh, we are raising $300,000, but uh, winning $20,000 will enable us to uh, develop a facility capable of uh, producing uh, 20,000 uh, tons of fuel weekly and also uh, manufacture our first 300 machine and set up a facility uh, to, I mean, and set up a distribution system. So uh, we have a growing customer base with 32 paying customers and for the year 2025, we expect to double our production after every three months. We have partnered with the university and different associations such as Tanzania Renewable Associations and we, are, we have been awarded during the Tanzania Energy Congress and we are looking for more funds and partners. So uh, with clean, reliable and cheap source of clean energy, studying becomes exciting and uh, we improve our hospital services and we create a sustainable future for all. We have a team which is very committed and very passionate and together we can propel this project forward. Tons and loads of water have been wasted. So this is analogous to our energy situation in Kota, where we heavily rely on coal power, yet we still import four tons of electricity from the neighboring South Africa. South Africa's ongoing energy crisis and constant power cuts highlights the vulnerability of our energy supply. In Botswana, we are currently facing the problems of high energy poverty high energy consumption, and energy waste as depicted here by university students having lights on. Hey, Africans! <laughs> <laughs> they are working fast. <laughs> That food doesn't make sense. Why are you bad their food? Acha, sir, this one you want to eat, that you know I pretend your food, I failed to eat. I can't eat it. Yes, you saw that accident earlier. Yeah. Huh? You saw that accident in the morning. Yeah. Hey, we should be careful. Our driver was just something else. This car, uh, we are talking about it, that this one is going to be better. Yes. 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 
Video. I just finished my day today. Today was the day one of the Youth for Climate event. It was really amazing. We had our pitches and I feel excited. I can't wait for day two. So we are in Rome, Italy. Good morning everyone, um, this is Lesero here, I'm in Rome, Italy and this is day two of the Youth for Climate um, event, it's called the Spiking Solutions event, it's the second edition of uh, this event, I mean it's the third edition of this Youth for Climate um, annual uh, event. So. I'm very excited. I'm in Rome today. I just wanted to take you through uh, the tour of my room. This is a room that's been booked for in a hotel called Occidental Occidental Park Hotel um, here in Rome, Italy. Uh, so I'm um, just taking you through a tour so that you see how uh, my room looks like. So first, there's that background over there. It has that beautiful art over there. And as you can see, there's the bed, there's a side table. That, there's actually two side tables, you know, on each end of the of the of the bed. And then also, uh, that's what you see right there. There's those uh, study lamps. There's a TV. There's a study place or workspace. And then also behind there, there's a chair. As you can see, there's another chair that you use to 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 do your work on the workspace. And then right here, the mirror you see is the closet. It has a mirror, the closet. So let me just open the closet so you see inside. So this is a, uh, it has a safe inside. That's a safe over there. Uh, I my clothes. And also there's a blanket, you know, on top of the same uh, closet. And then we get into the bathroom. The bathroom also is uh, really, really beautiful. As you can see, has the bathroom beautiful, clean. Um, there is a basin, you know. There's a mirror that you see right behind me. There's a dryer, hair dryer over there. There's a whole shower this side. I don't know if you're able to see it. There's a shower. This is a shower, yeah. I don't share this room with anyone, just uh, me. And there's uh, two toilets over there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it about it, the, the, the bathroom. And uh, also, there's the main door. Uh, this is the card that I use to access my room. Uh, this is at like Occidental uh, Hotels. It's actually part of Barcelo group of hotels. Let me see who's knocking. I think one of my colleagues is knocking. Oh, it's a brother from Z. We're <laughs> going for breakfast. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah. So let me just finish this video okay. and go with him. We're supposed to go take our breakfast right away because yesterday we were late for breakfast. So thank you so much. I look forward to taking it through. Oh, I forgot. There's actually uh, each and every room has got a balcony. So there's a, there's a, there's a glass window that you see. It's, it's early in the morning right now, so you can't really see clearly, but right there I have my own balcony. If I want to go, if I want to go outside and watch the trees, they actually have big trees here in Rome, Italy. The place is so green. So that's pretty much it. I don't know what is it that I forgot, but for now, that's all. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that um, life is good here in Rome, Italy. I cannot complain. 
I'm happy with how life is like here. I'm here to take you through so many things. Yesterday I did my pitch. It was really exciting. I'll share with you the video of the pitch as well. Thank you. Bye. Hello. What's your name? Thank you, Rose here. Rose. I'm a from Kenya. From Kenya. Oh, you're the freaking syndrome. Yeah. Wow. How is it here so far, Rose? Colosseum, yeah. Italy yes. Rome, and uh, the YFOC is projected there by the It's mine, I've been using it. And I've been having it. Every time the phone goes off, I use it. Serious? Yeah. You should have told us. I think it's just better. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I don't know how to use this camera. the <laughs> oh, I want to ride this vehicle as a rider, not as a passenger. <laughs> he got the joke about that. I'm driving us with this car to my plane. But dude, you did it. Come on, man. Albania feels like the Wild West now to me. <laughs> Why? Because like you guys are the best. Just saying. What we talk, we do most of them. Oh, this feels like um, oh, uh, one of the pictures I read about Rome building like really nice roads, and they put all of the cobblestones. Eh? Yeah, yeah, and they're everywhere. It feels so good. Hello. Thank you. 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 Thank Ma, Magali. Aspetta che se non posso entrare. Ah, scusa. Excited. Two. 
was that? It's just a... Mm -hmm. ah. It's just a... Is it a ritual? Food. You have to... to no, no. Okay. Normally put a bit of a... Gosh. Normally put like... And a... Okay. So they're keeping all these good doors still surviving. <laughs> <laughs> they're, keep, they're keeping good to themselves. <laughs> Look at all this good. <laughs> yeah, this place is so beautiful. Wow. It's beautiful. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> this is amazing. Ah, this is wrong. Ah. That's, oh, yeah. that's all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's check the rooms.
Wow. <laughs> Obvious. Yeah. Okay. Chop it. Yeah. Man. Can you start? I'm Rema. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yes, how are you? We are doing great. Uh huh. Zimbabwe. <laughs> how is it going? <laughs> what do you love about this place? The architecture. The architecture. Yeah. What uh, relevance does it have to you? <laughs> the question is hard, like an answer. <laughs> yes, actually. Yeah. So this is a church? Yeah, this is a church. It's, uh -huh. a, it's a place to worship. So yeah. I feel like I'm in, I'm, I'm in a safe haven. And I feel too emotional. Yeah. <laughs> Can you can you please also record me? All right. My video together with her. Yeah. Yeah. So I will compile it in a in a reel, so all this want to be here. Okay, okay. Yeah. So maybe one day we will get married here together with my partner. <laughs> yeah. So because it's a, it's a nice place, we feel like work together. Yeah. Somewhere in this place. We're getting married in church. In church. Yeah. So it's a very good thing to get uh, married in a change and yeah. got the places from the father. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So this is going on YouTube. Maybe you don't know. Happy employment. Happy employment. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Yeah. It's fun. Need to share that. <laughs> yeah. <I will. laughs> what's yeah. what's 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 in these very rooms? Cool. So this is this place is called what? Is it? It's still Coliseum. Yeah, yeah, we have found it. Oh. Which biblical story is related to the Coliseum? No, this was a, oh, oh, book. an amphitheater mm -hmm. that was used by gladiators yeah. during one of the prominent uh, Roman emperor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know who this was? Oh, is this the one that's the movie? Yeah. 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 Which was Spartacus. Yeah. I mean, I was Spartacus. But maybe. Like people are saying so. Oh, like, okay. Know, people are saying probably. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's because it's rich in history. Yeah. So everyone will know it all. Yeah. Yeah. So part of it was, do you, you see like it's mm -hmm. half? Yeah. That was during earthquake. There were two severe earthquake Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so. I think that one was so severe. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Okay. And this is the largest amphitheater in the world. Yeah, obvious. Oldest building. Yeah. 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 So how, how old is it? More than a thousand. Something. What? What AD? Yeah, it's something AD. Yeah, just the figures before Christ. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's get a good chance. Yeah, that's fair. Come in and run it. Samira? La basilica, come la vedete adesso, è opera dell'architetto Gian Lorenzo Bernini. La basilica è una opera corrente, che è creata dal famoso architetto Bernini, Gian Lorenzo Bernini. Al Bernini viene commissionato il monumento su Santa Francesca Romana. Santa Francesca vive a Roma tra fine 1300 e inizio 400 e questo succede in un'epoca in cui il Papa era lontano da Roma, era in Francia, nella città di Avignone. So, Francesca Romana, a local woman from Rome, lived between 1300 and 1400 here in Capital City, in a 
specific period when the Pope was away from Rome, used to live in another location. E si impegna, siccome la città in quel periodo era devastata, perché ogni famiglia potente tentava di appropriarsi del più proprio quadro, eh, dobbiamo essere eh, certi che il vostro messaggio eh, venga colto da tutti gli adulti. So, happy to share time with you today, to share the event, and he wants to confirm the government's engagement and commitment to keep working together and to acknowledge the importance of your joint efforts in terms of fantastic contribution provided by young people to climate. Oh, ognuno, ognuno di noi, ma più, più, più ancora, ognuno di voi può fare, può fare la differenza può fare la differenza portando il verbo, portando la, la conoscenza in, nei vostri paesi, in, in tanti paesi, nei, vale per l'Italia ma vale per i, i, tutti i paesi che sono rappresentati qui in questo momento. So each of us and primarily each of you can make the difference. Any of us just contributing with his own individual efforts can take the message and report the message when you go back to your own countries and continue virtuous activities all together individually. Oggi ci troviamo qui, nei fori romani, nel, eh, nel Colosseo, che è una delle sette meraviglie del mondo. E questo deve essere è stata una, una grandiosità di questa terra, di questa città e è ancora una grandiosità del mondo. E questo sia propiziatorio di, di, un, di un risultato importante per quello che è il vostro messaggio, il vostro messaggio che si manifesta nei vostri progetti, ma il vostro messaggio per rendere la consapevolezza in, da parte dei cittadini del mondo. We are here today, that is, you know, near the Colosseum, which is one of the most beautiful heritage assets. So we are very happy to share it with you. The importance of your presence here, the importance of your contribution to raising awareness and to enhance and contribute to implementation here today and all over the world when you go back to individual countries and then you keep cooperating all together, also remotely. Ringrazio. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So we are in this magnificent uh, building. Uh, as you can see, you oh, they can see this. Uh, yeah, as you can see this plenty of gold in here. Uh, even in the sky there is plenty of gold. I well, don't understand why we suffer, you but yeah, there is a lot of it here. Uh, <laughs> As you can also see this side, there is a of gold as well. Um, um, and then we are here looking for a 20,000 US dollars, but we know that one kg of gold is more than that actually. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, this is gold. This is, uh, what's the name of this place? Uh, it is, it was built in the 8th century. I know, you can't even imagine because by now all the people who built it don't even know where they are, somewhere in heaven, somewhere, I don't know where they are, but yeah, they are somewhere. So this is a beautiful place. Thank you very much. Oh, the Sadza. The Sadza is in Ugali. Yeah, as it's in Shimba, we call it in Shimba. The Shimba. But for us it's our staple. It's our staple food as well. Oh, really? I can't go... Is it cooking the same way? Two weeks with If you want to be part of our Global News Network, you can use this QR code here. So it's a mailing list ultimately, but there are real opportunities coming through that. We're really trying to create a continuum of engagement, so we don't believe in one of sporadic, superficial, cosmetic engagements. We believe in continuous, deep, meaningful engagement. So please join up with us. Thank you for your time. Thank you to our facilitators.
Give a round of applause to facilitators. Thank you, UNDP. Thank you to the events management team. Thank you so much. Grazie mille. Enjoy your light lunch. Grazie. Victor, did you share? Do the motion and still. From them it says. Yeah, it will be recording. Yeah, the moment they start talking about it. Not the time that the award ceremony comes in. Yeah, I mean the award ceremony when it starts. Oh. And this is the time for the award ceremony. The moderator, um, I want to thank and recognize Vice Premier Tajani for being here and of course speaking very comprehensively on the food and agricultural track. Of course, Minister Piquetto for being here to award our incredible winners and the message from uh, Dr. Akeem Steiner and of course our Director General from the FAO. Thank you very much for being here. Um, my name is Louise Mabulo. I'm the Master of Ceremonies of the Food and Agricultural Track. Personally, I'm a farmer and a chef and entrepreneur. I'm a United Nations Young Champion of the Earth and of course a veteran, much like Akeel, of the Youth for Climate and very much a result of many of these processes. I'd like to first congratulate all the teams who have participated. You've all done incredible work to just pitch, and I know that it's not easy, but you have had exemplary results. So first of all, please give yourselves a round of applause and acknowledge yourselves. Wow, it's all come to this. So I have the distinct honor of calling on your name and please come to the stage once you hear your project. The very first winner of the Food and Agriculture track here at Youth for Climate is Rihla Foundation Seeds of Life Project represented Congratulations, Arasid. Yeah. <laughs> okay, incredible. We have our first winner. Next, we have Bondi, by represented by Max Fontaine. On to our third winner, we have Sustainability and Environmental Studies Endeavor, represented by Anu Rai. heard from him earlier today uh, some incredible remarks from the food and agriculture breakout today Forezaba Farms represented by Kevin Mako Oh guys, do 
mean this? We must seek a good solution before the balance leaves. That's the kind of activity Sutton is going to be from the area. And he's going to be so proud of what he is right now. This song was written by me. And it's dedicated to all the climate heroes who are working together. So I'm going to try to propose in front of his wife. Yeah, I to Hi, 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 everyone. Good morning. I hope you're doing well. I'm so excited. You know, it's a new morning. Um, today is the 20th of October, and I have to fly home. To Botswana. Um, yesterday was the last day of the event, and um, also the award ceremony day. So I had a really, really, really long yet exciting day yesterday. So our project, the one that I came here to pitch, made it into the winning project. Uh, being one of the best projects in energy and going to receive funding from the UNDP and the Italian government um, of 20,000 US dollars and also support from the UNDP and even coaching. So that was really a great, um, uh, those were really great news and I'm so excited um, about it. I just... I don't know, man. I just feel grateful about uh, that. Uh, this was really, 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 really a very difficult um, journey to walk through. It wasn't easy, you know. It took hard work. It took commitment. It took dedication. And finally, just seeing your project being among uh, those winning projects where you meet this youthful uh brilliant, intelligent, smart women and men of different races from different continents. They have these brilliant projects that they're presenting and you are there as well among them, you know, trying to present yours and uh, show and show the, 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 the UNDP team and even the judges that you really got what it takes or the project got what it takes to uh, win that 20,000 US dollars is not a joke. It was not easy. But all in all, I'm grateful, thank God, you know, for the grace. Uh, it takes grace to reach that. And I'm so happy, you know, that my project has finally uh, made it like that, you know, coming to a country for the first time. In fact, yesterday was my graduation. I was graduating uh, for my undergraduate. Yeah, so yesterday it was double blessings. Graduation and at the same time um, winning that amount. Yeah, thank you. So I'm flying and I'll keep on taking uh, pictures and uh, just documenting the journey back home. Yeah. So see you.
Yeah. Hi guys, I'm in Rome, Fimishino Airport, and look what I saw. My dream car this is the car that I always have. Uh, it is fast. Part of the reason why I work hard in life is because I want to one day, you know, see myself driving this one right here. Let me the Tega. Hey. Come and see another bed girl. Dead girl here. This is a um, Rolls Royce Phantom. I love her, but my favorite one is Bentley Bentley. Ah, I think I also.